Hello and welcome to this video which is like an extension of the last video which is just getting some more practice picking samples using our table and using our calculator and the special sample which is a simple random sample simple random okay it's very important that you're very comfortable being able to choose a simple random sample okay using a table or a calculator and and ex being able to explain what you're doing so let's um, let's say we have a sampling frame I'm just gonna go do a whole bunch of examples of what you'd have to admit sampling frame okay remember this is the list of individuals that you're gonna choose your sample from okay so I'm just gonna go through a bunch of examples let's say we have um, 145 in our sampling frame Okay, so I'm going to go over a few ways that you could assign the numbers. Remember, this is everybody in the sampling frame has a name, and you have to assign a number. You have to assign a number to each person in your sampling frame. Okay, so so one way we could do this is zero 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 to one hundred forty-four. Okay, so if you do this, there's actually in there's 145 numbers here, okay, with three digits. But you have to say, what, what numbers would you be missing? Okay, what are all the possibilities? So who would you have to omit? Because you have to omit repeats, and we have to omit numbers that are not on the sampling frame, okay? So we have to omit numbers that are not on the sampling frame. So if you look at if you, if you look at it, what are the possibilities? The possibilities when you go in to a number when you go into a table of random digits and you look at three numbers, these are all the possibilities. It could be zero 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 to nine nine nine. If you choose three digits, then these are all the possibilities. Okay? So what's covered okay, so what's covered in my sample size? So 000 to 144, every single one of these numbers is assigned to a person or to a subject in there. So, so who's not? So the rest would be 1452999. Okay, so you'd have to omit all those people because if you choose one, if you, let's say 200 gets picked. Well, 200 isn't, the, the person in there doesn't have a number 200, okay? The highest number somebody has is 144. The lowest number somebody has is 000. So there is no 200 to pick. Okay? So what's another method I could use? I could do 001 to 145. This way it may make sense to more people because you don't start at 000. So how many numbers are from 000 to 145? Well, there's 145 numbers. Okay? So this ensures us everybody in our sample gets a number. Okay? But who, what possibilities, okay, so we have to omit the obvious, which is repeats. You can't, if you're choosing people or choosing subjects, whatever you're choosing, you can't choose two of them. Okay, so you want to omit repeats, and we want to omit numbers that, okay, that are not possibilities, that can't happen. That We want to omit numbers that our people don't have. Let me say it like that. All these, all of our people are going to have these numbers, Okay. So we have 145 people. They're all standing there. Dot, dot. They're all standing around. And everybody has a number. And that number starts from 001. And that number starts from 145. So so we have to admit. Sorry about this. Get rid of that. So what we have to do is we have to admit the numbers that people don't have. So those possibilities are 000. zero, zero. Okay, zero, zero, 0000 could happen. These are all possibilities. And then it could go all the way from 146 to 999. Those are, those are the numbers you have to omit. Okay? Let's do another one. Okay? Let's say there are 65 people. Okay, I'm going to go a little little faster here. 65 people. So you could go 00, zero to 64. Or you could do 0, 1 to 65. Okay? The obvious we know we have to omit repeats. Can't be chosen twice. Okay? Omit repeats. Okay, now who do we have to omit here? So if you're choosing two digits, what are the possibilities? Possibilities. 
possibilities if you're choosing two digits are 0, 0, 2, 99. Okay, so we, in this case, we have to omit, this case right here, we have to omit, okay, 0 to 0 to 65, 64 are covered already. So we have to omit 65 to 99, because if 65 to 99 gets picked, we don't have anybody in our sampling frame that has that number, so they can't get chosen. So we have to omit that. In this case, there's a, you know, we have 0, 0, that's a possibility, or 66 to 99 doesn't have a number, so we need to omit these. Okay, so I have um, a table on the other side, so let's go ahead and say in our sampling frame, okay, let's say we have, um, let's say we have 123 people in our sampling frame, okay, and let's say we want to pick three people, okay, we have 123 in our sampling frame. So we have a couple options here, okay? I'll start with the 0012123. 0, 0, 1, 1, okay? And I'll do my omits right off the bat. I want to omit we, Okay, so let me explain this a little better. 0, 0, 001 we want to sign Okay? 0, 0, 0001 to 123 to the individuals in my sampling frame okay we want to omit zero 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 and one okay so if I'm picking three digits what are the possibilities it could go from zero 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 to nine 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 so which which of these numbers are not included in my 123 so it would be zero 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 and 124 I don't have a 124 all the way to nine 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 Okay, so omit that and repeats. I'm going to choose three people. So let's enter line, let's enter line 24. Okay, so coming into line 24, and I have a 692. Okay, so 692, I go to my sampling frame and I ask, who's number 692? And obviously, there's nobody in my sampling frame that has that number, so this is omit. Okay, he's an omit, so that's 692. The next number is 389. 389, 389. Nobody has that number in my sampling frame. Okay, so he's gone. Next is 287. There is no 287, that's an omit. And you could just write omit on these two. Next is 880, that's an omit. Next is 067, 067. So that person made it. 067, so I asked my sample friend, who's 067? You got chosen. Okay, next is 808, that is an omit. Next is 074. 074. That person is that person is in my sampling frame. Somebody has 074. So that's gone. So that's a good. Next is 509. That's an omit. 622. 936-643-251. 926-537, no, I'm just wait, 755, no, 697. Now what we do is we go to the next line. So this is 949. I did these two digits here and one digit here. Remember, it's all random. You could go up to 220, no, 763, no, 527, 593, 982, 981, 824, 789, 943, and 0... Nine eight zero nine eight. Okay, so the three people that got chosen were zero six seven, zero seven four, and zero nine eight. Okay, so that's another example. Let me show you a reason. Let, let's say my sampling frame is a hundred. A lot of people want to uh, do something like this and say zero to, or let's say zero to ninety nine. Okay, so that'd be like zero, one, two, you know, ninety-eight, 
99, something like this. So now look at this is why the digits always have to match. There's one digit here, and there's two digits here. So see, that's going to be a problem because when you enter, you have to make a choice. Because this could be a 9. I'm entering line 1. That could be a 9, or it could be a 96. Okay, so you have a problem. The chance of picking a 9 is 1 over 10. The probability of picking a 96 is 1 over 100. Okay, so that you you can't do it. You don't. The probabilities aren't the same. The same, and the and and the numbers, the number of digits aren't the same. You wouldn't know. What what, what would you say? Because you could pick nine, you could pick six, you could pick two, nine, nine, zero. Or so so that's why the digits have to match. Okay. So if you notice here, I have three digits here. I have three digits here, and I have three digits here. The number of digits have to match, okay? Not necessarily in a calculator, but in if you use this table, they have to match, okay? So let's go to one more example with the calculator, just so you could see. Okay, you can see I still had that, that other example out of here. So let's say you have, um, let's say we have, let's do over a thousand. Let's say we have 50,000 always in front let's say we have 50,000 in our sampling frame 50,000 and we want to pick 5 okay 50,000 so so th this is how many names you have so everybody in your list gets a name okay so there's 50,000 numbers you have to give out so let's go ahead and assign numbers 1 through 50,000 to the sampling frame to the people and the subjects in the sampling frame now remember we want to go to random integer okay random in we want to do a start which is who's the first person in my sampling frame 1 who's the last person 50,000 and we want to do we want to pick 5 we only want to pick 5 of these people Okay, so remember you go math, math, probability, math, arrow over to probability, and we want to do number five. Number five, which is random. Okay, we're going to be using this function a lot. Okay, so one, comma, don't put the comma in the, uh, in the 50,000. It'll, it'll split up. We want to pick five. Okay, so let's see who gets picked. So now, whoever was 39904, they're the lucky winners. Okay, so these three people are in my sample. They could come on down, and, and of course, you generally we're going to be measuring some something. Measure. We might ask them something. Okay. So, anyways, I just wanted to give you some more practice on how to pick in these, especially on the uh, the the tables. These tend to give uh, students problems. Um, in the past, working with these tables. So make sure you watch these things, t t spend some time, get some practice, make sure you can explain. Half the time they just give you a, s a situation and they, they say, okay, explain how you would, uh, how, how would you pick an SRS, okay? And it's up to you to be able to say, okay, you take my sampling frame, assign the numbers, okay? Assign these numbers to them, omit this, omit repeats, and all that. So anyways, thanks for watching. And have a nice day.